Wings are nearly as complicated a character as any character I've ever worked on in a movie. Lucifer. Well, when we started to work on Angel's Wings, Francis's first comment was, I don't want these to be white, beautiful, angelic wings. I want them to look like bird wings. And we said sort of like raptor wings, like, you know, hawk or eagle wings, which are large and they're beautiful. They're kind of light on the underside, dark on the back. And, and he said, yeah, I like that. I don't know where the white wings actually came from, but, you know, a lot of these old sort of Italian masters have dark wings on their, their cherubs and angels. And that's, that's where I pulled it from. And I thought it was just more interesting. That and the fact that angels were truly, you know, God's warriors. I don't think they'd all be pure white. We use the wings as just another representation of what was going on emotionally with their character. You know, when they're surprised or trying to portray dominance or other things, the wings just become another sort of expressive element in the shot. We got lots and lots of reference from, uh, you know, photographs of birds, books. Um, spent a lot of time actually on the internet just, just finding pictures of bird feathers, bird wings, bird anatomy, looking at lots of anatomical um, sketches and, and papers about how wings move. And of course, we've kind of doctored them up to be more like what those wings would be if they were on a person, to give them a different sense of scale and, and change the anatomy a little bit. We needed big wings. So there was no way you could do that mechanically on the set and make it work, and the actor couldn't perform with wings that big. So the wings were created in CG and added to the characters, Gabriel and the angel characters, later. Because it's CG, we have the ability to do this incredible articulation in terms of the motion of the wings that would be extremely difficult and, and expensive to do mechanically. The other challenge, of course, is the look of the feathers and getting them to feel photoreal. And Owen Demers, our texture painter, did this amazing variety of textures for the feathers and translucency. So it's, it's actually a really beautifully crafted uh, bit of artistry in the CG feathers. It's always great to start with real photography of things as a guy. The Stan Winston guys built lighting reference wings, which we could animate, and we could, they were on cables, and we could make them fold up and down to put into scenes for our lighting reference. There, there was potentially an idea that if we did a, a, a close-up, we just needed to see a little bit of wing, that maybe we could push these up behind and just use those and avoid it turning it into a, a post-effect shot. But uh, the, the general direction and look of the wings was to, you know, to get something a little bigger and, and have a little more motion in it. So we, uh, would set things up. So we actually had to track her body position very tightly and we would recreate that in the computer so that our wings would line up exactly with her shoulder blade motion. I think we've made our angel wings, uh, I love them. I think they're just absolutely gorgeous. I'm very proud of them.